from time to time, you may have seen a group of people pedaling around downtown Springfield, getting their party on with a bunch of friends, all the while enjoying the great outdoors. With us today is Brian Ash with the Trolley Bike. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. Hey, great to be here. Thanks for having us. Trolley Bike. You're familiar with it. I know. What a we, great idea. We had, we had a blast. Yeah. We had just the most amazing time. Remind, remind folks what the trolley bike is all about. We call the trolley bike at Springfield Pedals Powered Party. And so um, it's basically like a party bus or a limo, except you get to pedal. And so uh, it seats 14 people. We go around downtown and kind of wherever you want to go. You can make kind of a pub crawl. You can make it a scavenger hunt, whatever you want to do during your two hours. But there's just something about being on a bike. It's unique and different and a lot of woohooing going on. And it's a oh, lot yeah. of fun. And, and I will tell you, for we had some people in our group because we um, did it in June and it was very hot. We had some people in our group that were like, "I don't want to pedal. You don't have to." That's right. You we should a, tell them. You that's don't, the great right. secret you, about it. You don't it. have right. to. People ask, "Do we have to pedal?" I mean, no, you get to pedal, but that's you're right. That's exactly right. But no, that's you don't exactly have to right. if you don't want to. If it's if you've had a little too much libations <laughs> or it's too hot or whatever the reason yeah. is, we've got a motor seat. So or you your know, legs are too short. It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> right. That's it, it truly doesn't. It's not like. <laughs> yeah. It's not like a spin class where it's yeah. a workout. It's yeah. just fun it and is, leisurely. And you have a little assist if you're going up hills and things. Like, exactly. Nobody wants you to, you know, it, this isn't supposed to be a huge workout for me. Right. It, it's fun. Exactly. Who can go on, on the trolley bike? You've got to be 21 if anyone's going to be drinking. Um, so we've had people, we have had some families do it where there's no alcohol. Mm -hmm. And probably you want to at least be kids who are old enough to reach the pedals, maybe young teenagers or something mm -hmm. like that. And they still had a blast even without the drinking. Mm -hmm. But usually more adults and frankly it even skews probably a little older than you might think. You might think it's college kids or whatever, but it's honestly more people our age that are on there. Right, right. Now do you, do you have to bring things to drink or do you have a, sta a, you know, a staffed bar or how nope. does that work? It's BYOB. Okay. So whatever you're going to have, you bring. Um, we've also got partner stops that you stop at with special deals. So usually people pack their own coolers and we make some stops along the way. No one ever goes thirsty. This sounds also like it'd be a fun way to do a pub crawl of sorts, I would imagine. Oh, I know. Yeah, and especially people who maybe uh, are from out of town or don't go downtown a lot and don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like your own guided tour of all the best spots downtown. This yeah, we kind of pop in and have like a little glass of champagne, and mm -hmm. then yeah, it was. You took us to some great spots, and it was a it was a fun night. Yeah. Well, we're going to ask a little bit how people can arrange for this, but as I understand, it's more than just riding around and partying. That you're actually helping. Uh, charitable institution. That's right. Now with the trolley bike you get a two for one. You still get to have a fun like you always did. But now we started something called Pedal for a Purpose. Mm -hmm. And so 10% of whatever we book during that month goes to our charity of the month. So our very first uh, Pedal for a Purpose partner with Cash Williams with KTTS, he has this thing called Be Better. Right. And he picked Boys and Girls Club for his recipients. So anything booked in April, any tours that get booked go to Boys and Girls Club. Um, next month, we've got uh, Lost and Found. The month after that, Junior League. So we have got things the whole rest of this year already planned out for different charities each month. What I, a great program. I, I, do we have something on that as, as far as a, just to give people an idea of what this is all about? Is that what I understand? Here we go. All right, we made our way on the trolley bike. We are about ready to go all around downtown Springfield. Get all my friends from the Boys and Girls Club here. By the way, 10% of all the bookings, gift cards, all stuff like that that happens during April on the trolley bike going to the Boys and Girls Club of Springfield. So it's staying local, and let's have a little fun. Y'all ready to do this thing?
<laughs> that just looks like fun. It was, and those kids were so much a blast. They were excited to come down and get to go on there, and so that was really fun. And big kudos to Cash for doing that. He came mm -hmm. down, he got it all organized, he shot that video, so big tip that to him. The bar has been set high for future Absolutely. month's partners that he went all out to help spread the word. Yeah, and this is something, as you said, 10%. It's a different organization, each, and we're going right. through November, is well, that right? Well, we've already got them booked through the end of the year, ah, and we've okay. already got some people booked in 2019. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. So, yeah, I mean, you know, when you talk to charities and it's something different for them to partner with, a different way to raise money. Sure. It's great for them, it's great for us. We love giving back, so it's been a great success so far. And just doing it, I mean, you, as you were saying, it's this is fun. you're just going out to have fun. You'll meet a whole lot of new friends waving to you on yes. the sidewalks and things, I would imagine. Yep, you usually try to see which side of the bike can get the most high fives during the tour. <laughs> That's a good well, thing. Well, and then you have this really cool seat. It's like the 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 special in the seat in we the back. We call that the princess seat. Well, is that where you were? Yes. I figured. <laughs> yeah. Which is another reason why your feet couldn't reach. The well, there are no pedals. That's why she was sitting yeah, back there. There are no pedals back there, Tom. <laughs> right, Not just me, a hat rack. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> tell me the truth. Tell me the truth now. People pedal a lot more at the beginning than they do at the end, right? Absolutely. I knew that was going to Absolutely. <laughs> okay, how can people find out more about the trolley bike, want to reserve time and space? How do they do that? The best way to do is just visit our website. It's thetrolleybike.com. Mm -hmm. It's got information about how the tours work. It's got our booking calendar. It's even got information about Pedal for a Purpose. So I would suggest go to our website, check it out. If you have any questions that aren't answered, just give us a call or shoot us an email. This sounds good. That's wonderful. A lot of fun and for a great cause, many great causes. Thanks for being with us Thanks today. for having us.